area. Playtime City. We're unboxing the 6-in-1 electric robot kit. We had it for a while, but we decided today is the day to open it up. What are you playing with, Munch? Uh, it's a diamond sword. It also has lighting things like this is mode one. Awesome. And then this is mode two. Uh -huh. And then this is mode three. Wow, another night light. <laughs> you have so many night lights. Well, this is added to your collection. But today we're going to check out these cool robots and this is really like a STEM project for you guys. Let's see, yep. Science, technology, engineering, and math. All right, let's open this up. Ooh, wow, look at this. And we have a little screwdriver so we don't want to lose that. And I'm sure this is the instruction. But wow, look at the package. Look at this one. So many. Each bag may be a different project. Oh yeah, see look. This one is the bubble machine. This one is the balance robot. This one is a doodling robot. This one's a buzz wire thing. Oh, and this one is a fiber optic lamp. And the last one is a reptile robot. So which one do you want to do first? Um, bubble machine. Bubble machine. Obviously, it probably blows bubbles. Yeah, we're doing this because it's summer. Summertime still? Yeah. This is probably like where the bubbles like come out. Yeah, usually we have a bubble wand, but this looks like a bubble wheel, a wheel of bubbles. How many do they have? How many holes? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Awesome. Well, that's gonna be a lot of bubbles coming out. And we have this little green plate. Get this. And we have the circuitry portions of it. Obviously, we need some batteries. I didn't think about that. I hope it's double or triple A's, because that's all we need. What's this part? I don't know. It's probably the motor that turns or spins. Kind of reminds me of our Kibiko um, ice skating ring project we did. Look how small these screws are. Oh, no. OK, we got to be mindful of it, because these pieces are small. Little Alan Ranch thing. Okay. Oh, it also says, do you know what's smaller than a centimeter? What's smaller than a centimeter? A millimeter. Yes, a millimeter. And then, what's smaller than a millimeter? A micrometer? Yes. Awesome. And then it requires bubble solution and two AA batteries, which we have. Munch, I need you to go get the two AA batteries and the bubble solution. Okay. I got the bubble solution. We have a red one and a blue one and the batteries. Awesome. So we have everything we need. Now let's look at what we have to do. We need your battery box, which will be pointing this way. A little connector here and screw it in place. So you see where it is? You gotta get some screws and screw it down right here. All right, do you think it's tight? There we go. These screws were very, very hard to get in because they're super small. Get the red one. Mm -hmm. See how I'm twisting it? Twisty, twisty, twisty. We hope we're doing this right. We never test anything out. This is our first go. So we are hoping we are following these instructions correctly. We never know what we're gonna get in the end, right, Munch? Yeah. While it's spinning, I put my finger in one of the holes. Awesome. So you got that one, try it again. This one, we it's, this one is going to be spinning much faster. Oh, you missed that one. Let's try it again. And Whoa, let's go in it. Oh, boom. did you get it? No. Oh, and Whoa. Bop. Oh. It's, like, it's like this piece. Bop. This area. 
impossible. Like, like it does that. Okay. Awesome. Well, I am sitting here trying to put the motor stick together for Munch because the screws are so small, he really can't handle the screwdriver. So I'm doing a lot of the screwing part. So I am on this part of the project. These screws are so small. These are for micro fingers. There, I got one go in. Now I have to put this in the seventh hole over here. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, Munch is just trying to join in on the fun, but not doing anything. He's spinning the, the hoops. So here's how it's coming. We have this part done. Now we have to figure out the next part. Getting it in here. So it goes in this direction. Come on, get in, get in. The diagram has this pointing in the opposite direction of the battery pack, so like this. But then it's putting pressure on the wire that shouldn't be. So I really think these guys need to be rotated. I don't know. I wonder if I can get away with it. No, I can't get away with it like that. We need it right here. So I just squeezed this in because we were not going to break apart this motor system again. But the result is that the black wire is super tight compared to the red, but we're hoping that won't be an issue and that these guys won't snap apart. But we are now on to step five, which is inserting the fan into the motor shaft. All right, Munch, you ready? Yeah, just get it. Yeah, you got it in nice and tight. Pretty good. All right, now we have to do some other work. So this is the crank bunch, you see? We got the crank going. We were using this to keep our supplies, but we have to dump it now and we have to attach it here because this is probably where the bubble solution is going to be. All right, Munch, we need to double-sided tape. There we go. Now we have to insert the bubble hoop, which onto this part. And be careful not to get hurt by it because there's a little stick that sticks out. Which one are we using, blue or red? Blue. Okay, let's set that aside. And now let's slowly pour the solution into the tray. Don't pour it onto the table. Move over a little bit more. In. Twist it. There we go. Keep going. You don't have to pour a lot. You may need the second bottle, I'm not sure. Let's see if it fills it all in. Think we need a tiny bit more? I do think that's enough. We can get a tiny bit more from the red. That should be good. Okay, let's close it up at the top because we don't want any spills. Now, what did you do with the batteries? We need the batteries, 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 much more for batteries, batteries. There they are. There you go. Go a little slower and move your Minecraft sword. You don't want to get it all wet. I'll blow some bubbles in you. Next! Mm -hmm. Hi. Ah. We got bubbles all over the table in the house. But ooh. Yeah, you got to find the right speed that's perfect for the bubbles to come out. Is that too slow? Yeah, that's too slow. Awesome. Yeah, let's see the second one. It's popping in my face. It's popping in my face. It's popping in my face. The bubbles are popping in my face. Ah, popping in my face, Munch. They're popping. They're popping in my face. Because I'm trying to get a front view for it. 
for your friends to see how it works, but it's popping in our face. Pop, 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 messy but it's fun technically guys you're supposed to be outside in the backyard we didn't realize it was gonna load up and start up right away well we should have thought about that it would right as soon as we put the batteries in but we can just wipe it off it's not that much it's all about having fun and experiences right ah, the bubbles are attacking the chair look at the bubbles are on my chair ah. we did bring it outside so you guys can see the bubbles flying look at that. A lot of bubbles. Awesome bubble machine. Oh no, what a hot dog on the TV! No, no, no! Oh, the bubbles are attacking. The bubbles are attacking us. Playtime City, run! Run, the bubbles are attacking! attacking awesome look at that this is pretty cool and messy but i think it was a good build i'm learning about circuits and batteries and motors right much yeah well did you have fun yeah awesome we're going to do the other five and show you guys in another video but for now see you later with the bubbles attacking <laughs> oh much don't try to make it attack Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.